I have a very nice uh, setup, a very nice equipment. Um, the rig is from SimLab, which is uh, very stiff, so no movement of the pedals or the steering wheel actually goes into the rig, which is very important. I have a very good seat as well, so the whole thing is very uh, solid, so no, no vibrations or anything uh, from the steering wheel go actually into the rig. Um, what is really important is uh, the steering wheel and the steering wheel base, which is uh, right here. Um, it's both from uh, Fnatic, uh, so very good equipment there. Um, I can set it up the way I want, uh, how much force feedback I would like to have, how much vibrations from the steering wheel I want to have, so it's uh, fully customizable. Uh, here are the pedals, um, also from uh, Fanatec. I actually only use uh, the brake and the accelerator, uh, the clutch only to, to start the car at the standing starts when I'm doing races there. And of course, um, one of the most important things is the uh, screen. It's a 49-inch ultra-wide monitor, very high resolution. Um, it also doesn't take so much space uh, from, from the actual room. So I really, I really like it and I'm, I'm very happy with my setup. Okay guys, now I'm actually sitting in the sim, in the car. Um, right now I'm using iRacing, which um, I mainly use uh, to prepare for my races, because I think it's uh, extremely realistic in terms of uh, how the cars are built and also in terms of how the tracks are built. The tracks are completely laser scanned, so on every track they have on iRacing, you have all the bumps, all the radios of the corners, they are exactly the same as in real life. So, uh, for example, when I did Le Mans this year, um, I prepared fully on my simulator and there were no surprises when I first hit the track in real time. So the realism and the, especially the competitiveness of the sim racers nowadays is very high. So every little detail counts, which uh, starts in the setup. So I can basically change the complete setup of the car, uh, for example, anti-roll bars, um, brake pads, uh, brake pressure settings, uh, brake bias, um, every parameter I can change in the car, or my engineer can change in the car, I can change on the sim as well. What is also really cool uh, on iRacing is that you cannot cut the track excessively. They allow a little bit of cutting, but for example, if you go a little bit too wide, you immediately get an off-track or a slowdown even, so nobody can have an unfair advantage in qualifying or the race, which makes the racing extremely cool and extremely competitive. Of course, there are differences between one simulator and the other. Um, this is a home-built simulator, let's call it, uh, which is very high quality, but um, there is a big difference to, for example, the BMW simulator we have in Munich. Um, mine is static, the one from BMW is completely um, dynamic, so whenever I hit the brakes, whenever I turn in, the whole platform moves and which gives me a different uh, dimension of uh, actually driving the car.